All right, this is how you clean the inside of your dryer the correct way. So we're gonna open the door. I already removed the lint tray. You could just vacuum these off. These are pretty easy to clean. But the hard part is inside this lint tray. This part, there's nothing that comes off, so you have to clean it through this little opening, and it could be really frustrating to homeowners. And I'm gonna show you how to clean it the easiest way. And that's what a really bad one looks like. They could get really bad and affect your system. So for the tools, what I'm using is a shop vac. You don't need such a high powered shop vac like this one. Any vacuum will do. You're just gonna need these attachments. So I have my vacuum brush attachment and then I have a long thin brush. I'll leave a link down below for one that I recommend and all the other tools. And then I just have this long attachment for my shop vac. I tried all the gizmos and gadgets like the lint lizard and all of these things, but I found that these simple tools work better and it cleans the whole thing. So I'm just vacuuming off this lint tray. That's uh, the easiest part. So I just shine my light in there and start off with the thin attachment just to get all of the loose dust and lint out of there. Now I use this, uh, this thin kind of screwdriver thing to get into these little crevices. Sometimes the lint gets in there and it's impossible to get out with just a vacuum. So you could just use a flathead screwdriver or something. And now I'm going in with the brush to get the sides. Even if you think it's clean, there's always going to be some dust and lint on the sides. And I found the only way to do this is it's just frustrating and you just have to use the brush, go back and forth. The brush is gonna knock it all off. The... Oh no, I dropped my flashlight in the lint tray. All right, this is a perfect example to show you how to get something that is stuck in your lint tray out. So this happens to be a metal flashlight. So I'm just gonna try to wiggle it over with my with the back of my brush, try to get it closer. And then since this is a metal object, a lot of people try to clean the, the try to clean it with like a fork or a knife or something or a butter knife. So I'm gonna use my slinky attachment and one of my magnetic bits and I'm gonna be really careful. It's kind of like playing that game with the claw where you try to win the stuffed animals. And now I'm just gonna try to get the magnet to stick and then very carefully pull it out without hitting the sides. And let's see if I could do it. Ah, oh, I dropped it, let's see. Oh my God. Ah, uh, I got it, I got it, all right. When you use a flashlight to look in there, use one that's bigger than the opening so you don't do the mistake that I just did. I really can't believe I did that. But all right, we're back in action and we're making sure everything is clean. It looks pretty good, so now it is clean. I take a napkin or a paper towel or something and, can, and suction it to the end of my vacuum and then I use it to make sure the sides are clean because when that's the first thing the customer sees when they open it and I like it to look nice and clean and it really makes a big difference. Now the whole inside is clean and looking nice. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn the dryer on and we're going to put it on air only so that it doesn't get too hot. And now I'm testing the, su the suction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger on this button and that's going to allow the machine to run with the door open. And now with the machine running, I am going to take a piece of paper, just any type of paper. Don't use a napkin or a paper towel. Use a regular piece of paper and we're gonna hope that it gets suctioned on. So you see that the paper is getting suction on, suctioned on. That means we have good airflow and we are ready to go to the next step. That's a great way to test to see if your dryer vent is in need of cleaning or if you're having any issues with your dryer. Do this test and if the paper doesn't stick, then you know that you, you are having an airflow problem. So now we're gonna have to clean the back of the machine. There's a whole nother part of the machine that is really important to clean. On this type of dryer, this back piece comes out with just one screw and it gives us access to what's called the floor pan, which is the most important spot to clean. You just take that piece out and then look at all that lint. And then you just go in there with your vacuum, clean it up, make it look nice. Make sure you get all of the elements, the heating element and all of the wires and then you are good to go. Now you have a clean inside of your dryer.